Well, yes, it is recording. Uh, good morning. We have Steve Hart with us again. Uh, Christopher was unable to make the video that we had planned, uh, and Steve graciously stepped in, and he wants to talk and, and introduce the subject of fear and overcoming some of the obstacles that stand in our way of, uh, of moving forward with the evolution of our consciousness and uh, the awakening of, of each of us individually and of humanity as a whole. So, Steve, I want you to go ahead and, uh, and just introduce however you want to introduce it. That's how I introduced it. That, that's, that was good. That's fine. Uh, when we did our um, last video together, we... Um, I was talking about getting this release. And I believe there is a release that's coming. It has been coming for some time. That's why you and I and everybody else is, is waking up to what's going on. We're realizing that we have been living in fear and allowing it to control us. And um, so what I'm encouraging people to do is to recognize this release is happening and to let it go. I mean, you know, I just think it's funny that Disney made that movie or the, the song, let it go, because it is all about learning how to open up and let it go. Um, as I said in the last video, when we open up and re re remove whatever the infliction is or whatever the disease is, it is, we naturally heal. And so the importance is, is to realize that we can actually be freed from our fears and, um, of course, you probably have heard the, uh, the saying that fear stands for false evidence appearing as real. And I think that that's an interesting um, uh, exactly. concept. Yeah, because it, it is. It's quite often, you know, what we fear it turns out to be unreal or it doesn't have any value to it at all. And when we do fear something that has, uh, has some meat to it or value to it, we can turn that fear into wisdom and not hang on to the fear. In other words, you know, I mean, I, I'm smart enough not to walk out in the middle of the road because I know that the chances of me getting hit is increased. It's not that I'm afraid. It's just wisdom says don't walk out or stand out, stand in the middle of the road, you know. Um, so it's a matter of letting go of the fear and realizing that it's there. Now, most people don't even realize that they allow fear to control their lives. You know, they're constantly uh, living in fear and making decisions every day and every moment based upon fear instead of love. And I learned how to, over the years, to stop and ask myself, am I making this decision based upon love or upon fear? And it's, it's, it's obvious every time I made a decision based upon fear, uh, I was making a mistake. So I've learned how to open up and, and to allow people to allow myself to, um, to learn to be motivated by fear instead of uh, motivated by love instead of fear. Now, what, what, where would that come from? Those, my words got all turned around. You ever have that, Ron? Yes, it, yes, I have. <laughs> I want to just interject something here, though. You know, it's interesting that uh, what, it, you're, what you're working on in your life is very similar to where I am because uh, I've now, of course, started going to Unity regularly and i've been working with uh, reverend beth and also with uh, uh david ringe who is a holistic doctor and in fact i have a meeting with him on uh, on friday again Good. and uh and we're working on on some of these issues of, of how we frame our conversation and a lot of it has to do with with fear and one of my roadblocks has been tell the truth tell the truth well, which do you want to affirm? The negative truth that holds you back or the positive truth that is trying to tell you that your real self is, is more than what you're, what you're thinking when you're in fear right. or expressing fear? Right. And, and as I was saying earlier, we don't realize how much fear controls us. Not until we begin to see the light or begin to see the truth or the wisdom in our thought processes, we begin to actually see how fear has controlled us in the past. And it's not easy to let go of the fear. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's easy. Uh, as much as it is, is to embrace the love. I mean, if you can open up and embrace the love, then you will be able to uh, experience uh, this healing, be able to experience this release. Now, we ha we, you and I have to admit that there are those out there who are stirring the pot, who are trying to feed fear upon us. Uh, through the media or through word of mouth or through even some of our loved ones sometimes uh, they'll, they'll say you can't do that or you know or, or the more popular one we'll see you later be safe or be careful 
<laughs> we don't realize how much we're feeding fear. I usually, I prefer to say, enjoy your trip <laughs> instead of saying, be careful. You know, don't, don't feed the fear, you know? Um, so, there, and there are people out there who just want to create, continue to create more drama in the world and get us all stirred up and we forget who we are. Yeah, this is true. Uh, I, I was wondering though, uh, do you think that when people tell us what's going on in the world, for example, what the government's in, involved in, do you think, I mean, a, a, two people can hear the exact same thing. That's right. One can respond fearfully and the other can get excited and say, wow, the change is happening. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. And, and it is a choice. At that moment, we get the choice. Because what I always do, as I said in the last video, is I always ask, what is the truth in this? In the, what, when I hear this information, what is the truth in this? And I get to decide uh, even what is the truth in it and then what I want to do with that or how I want to transform that. Because when I hear something that I that is true and it grieves my heart, then I can hold in my heart the intention of giving it love and healing. And I, maybe I can't you know, do anything about it directly or drive over or go to some, some place to intervene, but in my heart, and in that vibration, yes, I can make a difference. And so I, I do that. Now, that's something interesting you just brought up. When we hear information, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, I just watched a TED Talk uh, just recently where a gentleman's talking about what we think is true um, and what we're hearing sometimes through the media is false. It's, it's so much false information is being put out there. Oh, and, yes. and we intuitively lean towards the negative. Because we think that's where it's, it's a safe place to be. It's to be in a fearful position is, to, is going to protect us. It, it, yeah, if we're in a fearful position, we're, not, we're unprotected. Uh, but, the, but we don't do that naturally, do we? Uh, no, we are, I think we're actually programmed. Yeah. Right. I, I really do think that the human mind is programmed by the media, by our education, right. uh, by our upbringing. I mean, kids kids if you don't teach them to fear are pretty fearless many many times if you that's see a kid that, if you see a child a young child that's acting very fearfully that's been planted that's very good, I, don't believe good. People, I don't believe kids are born fearful a good analogy if if a child is attacked you don't see them do this we as humans or as adults, we have a tendency to do this when we feel that we're being attacked by something. Uh, the child will just stand there and say, what, what is this? What is this experience Here that I'm having right now? You know, And they're, they're trying to make a decision. <clears throat> and, we, and you're right. We do program each other for fear. And, and as I give an example, you know, you know, be, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it's really difficult. It, it's difficult to be aware of how much of our language actually is fear based we don't even we don't even think about it because it's so normal it's it's just the right. way that we talk right it's the and way we've been trained it's the way other people talk <coughs> we don't look at it as well there might be something wrong with this which is why i'm really glad that uh, that i'm i'm working with some holistic practitioners that are helping me to become more conscious of some of my own drawbacks and tendencies to to be Fear, to have fear language and to be more fear-based than is necessary. You, know, you have to remember the fear is usually introduced through our minds and through our emotions. But when you come into the heart, the heart energy, um, the fear is dealt with in a most practical, realistic way. I mean, it's, um, the heart energy will give us the wisdom. It gives us the knowledge as to what it is that we need to be doing in that now moment uh, when we're experiencing the fear. And that's how we can transform uh, the situation. Um, I, I mean, I'm not immune from fear, but I, I'll no. tell you that I don't experience the fear like I used to. Well, if you're in a human body and you've been trained all of your life in a certain way, right. to, to claim immunity is probably you're not being truthful to yourself because, mm -hmm. because there is the element that's there because it's been trained to be there. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been indoctrinated with with certain things our entire lives, mm -hmm. and to overcome and see it from a different perspective is a challenge. 
Uh, very very much so. We have, we have to work at it. it. It doesn't come naturally to move from fearful to fearlessness. That's true. And, and I don't think any of us are at the fearless state yet. <laughs> no, nope. but we are gaining no, we're wisdom. Right. We're, we're getting wisdom. And that's the replace. That's 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 love's replacement for fear, for understanding. We, we like I said earlier, I gave the example about you know standing in the middle of the road. It, it's wisdom that is given to us. So we do make choices based upon using wisdom, which is from the inner source energy of love, and uh, that that is real. It is. It, that's why wisdom is so important for us to open our minds. But as we as we do. Our higher selves will give us that understanding. It will give. It wants to give us that understanding. The only resistance we have is the fear within us that we hold on to, and we think we have to hold on to it, you know, because it's it's comfortable. Um, the the fight or flight type, uh, you know, energy that that we're programmed with. That's what we hold on to. We think that that's the answer to our problems. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not saying it doesn't have any value. Please understand. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying if you, if you don't have this wisdom or this knowledge of knowing who you are, then the fight or flight is there to serve you well. I mean, you get out of the way or you need to protect yourself. And I do believe that we um, have every right to protect ourselves. I oh, mean, yeah. I mean, it would be crazy to stand in the middle of a, of a busy uh, a traffic intersection, for example, right, right. and say, well, I, I, I don't have anything to be afraid of. I, I'm okay. And we, put our, we put ourselves in harm's way right. uh, because we're fearless. Right. You know, that's insanity. <laughs> and, then, and if somebody comes at me to attack me, it's not like I'm going to not defend myself. Right. Or, or defend uh, another person next to me and, and, and not, uh, for their defense if they're being attacked. You know. Um, Everything in balance. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, I'm not going to aggressively attack someone else. I'm not going to. Uh, I don't have to do that. All I have. That's why I like. If you talk about the martial art, I have a friend who's a, a black belt in Aikido. The, the Aikido art is you take the energy that's coming at you and you disable it. Mm -hmm. And so that, therefore, you're not really doing a, a, an attack. From the way I understand it, I'm not a martial arts spec expert, but I I know the principle behind it. You know. So yeah. the point the point is is to learn how to take what's coming at you, what you're experiencing, and disable it. <laughs> and it's done through love. It really, and it's a conscious choice. It's a choice of the mind of focusing upon that instead of the resistance. I have to resist. I have to you know, put put my hands up and resist and fight back. Because but that's a natural f way of dealing with 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 what we're going on to with what's happening in the world. I mean, it's only yeah. natural. Yeah, it's in the political realm. It's in the business realm. It's right. it's, all, it's all around us right. because the the world has been um, it's been fed a diet of constant fear by the by the powers that be, mm -hmm. whether they're spiritual powers that be or whether they're just misguided humans. That's right. a debatable thing. Right. Uh, but in any case, we've we've all been subjected to that mindset. Right. And it, it affects us. It, it does. And to overcome it is the greatest challenge. Let, let me interject something else here. And I, I alluded to this a while ago. And that is the fear only continues to be in control of us when we allow it to be continually to be fed. Fear has to be fed. Love does not. Love emanates within itself. Fear has to be continually fed. If you stop feeding it, it dissipates. It loses its power. And the light comes in and love takes over. But you'll notice that the world is set up to constantly feed us more and more fear. And we naturally respond to that. Yeah, the media, you just have to, you just have to watch television news. And you see that a majority, not, not that I watch it very often, I don't anymore. But I remember that a majority of what they say is bad news. They do, occasionally, they do throw a good news story in there. Uh, but a lot of it is bad news information that, that generates the fear mongering. Believe it or not, I've actually been at CNN headquarters. A friend of mine was a general manager at one time, and I got to see how it is that they bring in the information and what they do with it. And it's, it is very interesting. They know that uh, the news stories that, uh, that trigger 
people to get their attention to make the money, you know. Uh, so they're going to go after that information, and that's what they're going to be, re be reporting. And you're right. I mean, it's – it's um, we don't realize how much we're being fed this information. I, I myself have not had a television now for 10 years or no, five years. And um, it's made a huge difference in my life. I remember the first time I was challenged to get rid of my television. I said, well, you know, that doesn't make any sense. Da, da, da. I had all my reasons why I wasn't going to do it, even though I was, I thought I had control of my time of watching television. Now, I'm not, not like I don't have the internet because here we are on the internet yes. right now, but we get to choose what we want to watch. And I noticed that I consciously uh, am not watching uh, certain things on the internet when it comes up like on Facebook and so forth. I do make a choice because I know it does affect me and I want to be projecting the love energy instead of the fear energy. So. Yeah, I know even on the internet, some of the people that I used to hold in high esteem, I'm not going to name names or anything, right. <laughs> but, uh, but they were basically fear mongers, always saying what's wrong, what's wrong, talking about uh, everything that's uh, screwed up in the world. And I don't give that, well, truthfully, I don't give a lot of things that I used to give, give attention to on the internet my attention anymore. I just, yeah. I just let it go. In fact, I'm unsubscribing from more and more uh, <laughs> uh, newsletters and stuff like that that don't really have much positive to say. And I'm trying to focus more on the positive and I'm hanging out with people that ha are doing the same thing so we can sort of give each other support. Well, we forget that there's a universal law that whatever it is that we focus upon, that's what we're attracting into our lives. We always forget that universal law. It doesn't change. And it doesn't make a difference if it's good or bad, quote unquote, uh, whatever it is we're focusing upon, that's what we're going to get. And that, that law is there. And you're right. You're making a choice to focus upon that, which you want more of, you know, yeah, and, and I think everybody has to come to the place where they're doing that. I didn't. I don't remember what what do you, do you know? Did you look at the clock when we began? <laughs> uh, it's been about twenty minutes. So yeah, I, I think that's probably right. About twenty minutes. Yeah, because we. I, I want to keep it under half an hour, as you know. But it, it can be. It doesn't have to be a full half hour. But I, yeah, well, I, it's always great talking with you, Ron, and sharing with your viewers. I, I'm. Uh, I'm now starting to mix in my own videos. Uh, and um, so here I am, I'm doing what is mine to do, and, that's, and, and I hope it's coming from a place of love, and I do appreciate you. Well, thank you very much. And I do hope to open up uh, these video discussions with more people. I mean, the, the coordination timing is probably the biggest challenge that I face, getting a time that, that is good for the other person and good for me. Uh, I'm very time oriented i like to get things done in the mornings my mornings if possible that's not always going to be possible with everybody that i do a video with right right uh, but uh, that's my intent and my goal uh, i'm trying to get to more exercise in my life and and to, to uh, do some things that are going to make me healthier mm, and, good and stronger yep see and, i got i got all my supplements right here <laughs> I took oh, my yeah. supplements this morning. And I'll be working out later on this afternoon at the health club. <laughs> I see it's. I see it's now. Yeah, I want to join the, the health club. I've been. I actually went there, but the program that they used to uh, be involved in, they're, they're, that program is no longer yeah. being supported right. by the health club, and so now I have to pay some money, which I didn't. The other one was free. Yeah, well, I'd rather pay my health club fee than have to pay the doctor. <laughs> yeah, well, I. I my intention is to get there, but it's been there for a week. No, no I, under, I understand. In your case, you do whatever you use yours to do. Uh, I, I have to, I have to build, build my body up, and I can't be focusing my mind on things that are not strengthening me. Well, you're doing a lot better than you were throughout the last months. I remember coming to see you at the hospital and uh, watching you struggle. I mean, you, you, I, I thank God your, your mind is coming back, your spirit is there, and and I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. Well, the, the, the difficult thing, of course, is my children, my daughter, of course, I live with her and her family, or they live with me. Uh, and my son is very, has been very active in my life, although not so much the last few weeks. He sort of backed off a little bit. But uh, they're, you know, they are very conformist to the doctor's 
with yeah. stuff like that. And, and, that, and that's understandable. You know, the, they love you and that's all they know and they're, they're working with that and that's what they're doing. Yeah, and and I'm, I'm actually praying over my pills and my prescriptions and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to put me on new stuff. I don't want to, mm-hmm. like, like my dad, they kept expanding. Well, now take, take this one and then this one. And <laughs> taking 20 some, 20 some different pills every single day. I'm always reminded they're practicing medicine. They did not perfect it. <laughs> no, they didn't. And, and when I get to where I want to be, I will no longer be taking any prescription medications good. and just the holistic, the vitamins and uh, mm. supplements that are good for me. And even a lot of my supplements, most of them still sit in a box that's uh, uh, yeah, that you I have to, that I don't you, you I have can't to find take everything that I right. Yeah, you can, yeah you can, and, and there's a lot of information out there. You have to. I I connect with my higher self on each supplement. I mean, this is my new one that I, I'm taking now. That's really making a big difference. What is that Hawthorne? Yeah, this is no, no. This is the uh, horse chestnut, which is more for my circulation. You know, both mm-hmm. you and I have had trouble with our lower legs, and so um, that one's helping me with that. So yeah. Well, speaking of speaking of that, my the swelling has gone down to All right. non, <laughs> non-existent in my in my feet. The numbness is still there. Uh, especially my right foot, my right foot, which is the one that I had to stroke, you know, my whole right side was paralyzed. And uh, that one's still a lot more, I mean, three times probably more numb than the left foot. Well, we'll talk about that later on, you and I talk, and I'll share with you what I've been taking for that. So. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I appreciate the conversations that we have. At, uh, I hope other people appreciate the honesty and the, and, and that we're – talking about what we've uh, come through and that some of the challenges, I think that's important. Yes. So, and I thank you for, for sharing your little bit of your journey and yeah. hopefully we'll share more every looking forward to it. as off as often as we need to. But I do want to get to, as I said, where I'm doing at least five times a week, if I could, uh, I'd like to be doing interviews with people. Well, there are people out there. You'll, you'll find them. Yeah. They'll come to you and, and yeah, It'll be good. All right. Well, thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Where's the end button? There it is. And stop recording.